Drought is not something that, as a West Coast resident, that we're necessarily new to. You can just see year over year, there's less and less water. The rain season just gets shorter and shorter. And they were taking extreme measures to have water conservation, where you can only water on certain days, or there's now incentives to pull up grass. As I've gotten older, I've been more concerned about the environment. I think the average rainfall for this area of Southern California is around 12 inches a year, and I think during the drought we've been averaging six. I know it only rains during the winter, but if we put some barrels out here and captured a couple hundred gallons, we could use it to water stuff. Then I found the Storm Catcher Project. This is literally a watershed day. This collaboration today, I've come together because we understand the urgency of this moment. We want to create an entirely new system from one home at a time throughout all the cities in the county by reusing, recycling, or recharging. Approximately 1.2 million of the 1.5 million residential parcels we have discovered are actually viable from a water capture standpoint. When I heard about this program, I really felt like this was a great opportunity to try something different, and I was really surprised that it was just happening for the first time now. I felt excited to get involved with the Stormcatcher Project because I feel like we need to start trying new things. We need to start finding solutions that work better within the landscape that we're in. We can adapt to live within our environment and still have beautiful gardens and live somewhere that's surrounded by green. And I thought it would be a fabulous opportunity for me and for me to give back to the city. And basically we have rain gutters at the front and the back of the house that collect the rainwater and they run to pipes that are at the edge of the house and those pipes go underground. It rips off of the roof when it rains and gets collected in the pipes down below underneath the ground in the backyard that were installed and then they fill up the cisterns. So through gravity it flows into the tank. Two slimline Australian tanks that carry 530 gallons each. So together we have 1,060 gallons, which is quite a lot. They're saying every inch of rain is 600 gallons. But instead of just filling up the water, we can go onto the cloud and I'm looking to see like, oh, the tank's this full and it's gonna rain in 24 hours, so we know it's gonna fill up this much more. When it gets to a certain level, the water goes out, collected into a shallow pool there in the front yard that's been built just for that purpose. And then we'll just soak from there down into the water table. The gutters don't drain to the street anymore. They go into the yard. In the beginning, I was actually intimidated by LA's landscape, so I did some research into California-style um, natives, really just as water efficient as the yard with rocks and succulents. I thought that's something that I really wanted to do. One of the benefits of our system is it is just off the front yard, so our neighbors do get to see it. The questions I get are, how much water does it carry? Like, have you used it? Like, what did it cost? And why are you doing it? What's interesting is once we started talking about what it was, there was a lot of like, oh, that's really cool. Maybe with something we could do. We wanted to be kind of an example example for this particular community to create a more sustainable environment. It's not any one person that's going to change everything, but it's other people getting excited about something that they're seeing that will make things change. Giving a voice to rain harvesting is something that we really wanted to do and participating in the pilot program allowed us to do that. It could do a ton of good for the city and all of LA County that's in this drought.